Hey, Trevor Matthews with another two minutes with Trevor. I am super excited to talk about our new Copeland compressor drives, our EVMs and EVH drives. We just recently launched these in the US and why I'm so excited, I've been dealing with drives for many years now. But one of the big issues was, was the setup, the installation, and you know, the, um, the troubleshooting of the drive itself, because there, it's very complicated. Emerson has invested a ton of resources over the last three, four, five years on building their own compressor drive, and it's finally launched. And what I'm excited about is that this got Bluetooth capability, so it's gonna be very simple to set up. You're gonna be able to network it to an E3 and an E2 and a site supervisor. It's gonna have compressor electronic protection to protect that compressor. The big thing is, is the easy installation, commissioning, and setup, which I'm super excited about because I've set up quite a few of them here at the lab, and it can be complicated. And really what I like about this, it is very simple to do. There's a lot of different applications you'll be able to use these drives on, but you're gonna see more and more drives on compressors over the next few years. And you need to start now investing your time and learning how they work. I'm gonna put the manuals in the description below. And you can take a look at those manuals and start investing some time in learning how drives work with compressors how it changes the dynamics of the system, how you need an oil boost cycle, and what happens with the mass flow, and learning this stuff is gonna make you better. And you will not be the technician going out and bypassing these drives when they're on a compressor. I'd love to hear comments below. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.